So I have just watched the King of the Table rules meeting. Okay, so let's watch. Foul section. This is where it Bill. can get a little confusing for some. Is there is a running foul the process? Why it gets confusing. What a running foul process is. Um, get up here, Tim Sean. What a running foul process is is when the, we start the match and you get a little bobble where we have the air match. underneath there. That would consist of a running foul. Do not stop arm wrestling because these count. Okay, if you come up and you gain position, now this is a subjective move. So if you come up and you gain position in a shoulder, wrist, or hand, you will get a foul. There is also, if Tim and I are arm wrestling and I come off the side of the pocket and you get it back in, no position gain, it will be a running foul. Okay, if you guys come over here, hit, or come off the back and we get position gain, the other foul is called a stop foul, okay? Stop foul means that we will stop the match and you guys get that foul because you gain position. For uh, an elbow bump that gains no position to be more severely punished than a serious foul. Okay, this is designed to keep the match going. Okay, so he says um, it's designed to keep the match going, and that is to please the audience. And, you know, to please the audience is, is not a, a wrong thing to do, but it's a wrong thing to do if it impacts the sense of the match. I mean, could you imagine in football if, if you make a, an insignificant tackle, it just, you know, nobody gets hurt, uh, but it was just, you know, a foul. Could you imagine if your uh, your punishment was that you had to score a goal? The goal wouldn't count, but only then would you get a restart in the centre. So a little bobble, no sense. position gain, we are okay, but you will yeah. get a foul. Do not stop arm wrestling. I think wrestling. John's got a word to say about um, that. So, then again, so I don't lose track here. comes John. Here. Um, does that mean that situation where you have to pin to get a rematch, but you didn't win? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a right hole and you win the match, what happened? Okay, no, that's good. Tim, come back over here. <laughs> so we get a one. little bobble. I get a running foul. I have to pin this man to get a restart. Okay. If I get a running foul, can I then get a regular foul to stop the match? Because I don't want to be arm wrestling and then winning and then not so, getting the victory. So, for John to say that. And then at that point, if you have two fouls. Yeah. If you gain any position, it will be a stop match and that'll be a big stop. Right, but what if I do a bobble foul and you say, you got a running foul. I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to continue arm wrestling. I just, I want a, I want a real foul. I want you to stop the match. <laughs> okay. That will be a stop foul and you got two. Okay, the match is still it's a restart. Foul. I know, so it's how, many, how many fouls do I get? Three. Three fouls is a lot. I guess in yes. King of the like Table, we'll right, you have so this three is, fouls. So this is, this is a couple other differences. <laughs> Correct me with my math, will you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you ain't about that anyway. I, Two and then one more would be stop. Three, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Three fouls, you lose the match. Right. Okay. If I can't do a bobble foul. If I do a bobble foul, a running foul is a bobble. That's a foul, running foul. And then if you come up, that's a stop match. That's your second foul. Keep counting. Right. So the bobble foul becomes a real foul. Yes, it's counting. I mean, come on, guys. The only way that a running foul makes sense is if somebody is trying to escape a losing position. Well, look at it this way. I can't have a bobble and have a running foul and do a stop foul and walk away with it. They continue to the next round. Okay. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay, cool. So when we start looking at the stop foul, there's a couple of different things that we look at. Okay, in a referee's grip. Can I, can I request to to have a bobble foul automatically be a stop foul? <laughs> <laughs> no. Because yeah. that's subjective, right? I mean, you're, you're saying, oh, that, eh, that was a bobble foul. Yeah, that really wasn't a bad foul. Wait a minute, foul. I want, that's a real foul. And, 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 and it foul. can be subjective, and we're going to call I it the way we see John. it. Right. No, I'd, rather, I'd rather have all fouls be stop fouls. Yeah. John's the only guy. <laughs> we're going to be able to discuss this, right, and change the rules. Okay. Isn't that part so, of this? Oh, no, no. You have a bobble foul you want to stop? It bobbles, I gain position. That's a stop foul. If you guys, it, and it usually happens on the start. I so can when understand. we start the match, if there's a fouls, comes up, stop fouls. That's a running foul. 
Okay, now watch. It, yeah, you gotta be a good. Yeah. <laughs> we come up, and I came position on the hand, the arm, or the shoulder. It's a stop foul. We're gonna stop the match. All right. All right. You understand? Good. No. It's a silly rule. I don't understand it, but it's. The, it's the silly rule. Yeah. One at a time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One at a time. Okay. So this okay. rule has been in the KOT one to today. That's been the same type of rule. Okay. Okay. Just because it's been done before doesn't make it right to continue doing. You don't need to take advantage. Um, so, these are just some extra thoughts on top of the previous video. And I will at some point do some more um, videos on uh, some of the big questions in our wrestling. Yeah, even in terms of chemical warfare.